Newly elected city council members officially took the seats voters elected them into. 23 ABC's Kim Foley spoke to both of them, and she's in the newsroom live tonight with what they had to say about their big night. Kim. Well, Troy, the city council will eventually have three new members, but tonight only two of them, Terry Maxwell and Bob Smith, took their seats because we still don't know who the third council member will be. It was a night full of endings. David, you're the one who suggested that I run <laughs> 12 years ago. Thank you. <laughs> Sincerely. And beginnings as the Bakersfield City Council welcomed two new faces. <laughs> Ward 4's Bob Smith will replace David Couch, who was elected to the Board of Supervisors. Excited, uh, you know, a new season, a new adventure, and uh, ready to learn and give back to the community. And Ward 2's Terry Maxwell will replace Sue Benham. I've been looking forward to this. You know, you get elected and you're kind of not sure whether you should be that excited about it or whether you've gotten yourself into something that may be a little bit bigger than what you can handle. And, you know, I've been so excited. I can't wait to get started on some of the key issues that are, that are in this city. One of the first discussions both of them will be a part of is what to do with the Ward 1 vacancy that now exists because Rudy Salas was elected to the state assembly. There are two options at this point, a special election or an appointment. Residents can file a petition requesting the special election. If that does not happen or there are not enough signatures, then the decision to appoint or elect will be decided right here. That final person, whoever he or she is, will then complete the council, a council that has already started a brand new chapter. I'm honored to serve uh, Bakersfield, and it's a wonderful community. Thank, thank you to everybody who uh, took the time to help me with my, my election, the people who voted for me. Uh, I am, I'm out there to do as best a job as I possibly can. Ward 1 residents only have a few weeks left to collect just over 1,200 signatures to force a special election. If that happens, the election would be held sometime between the months of March and June. In the newsroom, Kim Foley, 23 ABC.